Hi, everyone. It's so good to be with you today. Thanks for taking some time out of your schedule to share in these encouraging word moments together. This is our chance where we can just pause from whatever else is going on to seek the Lord with one heart, to join in together around his word, to not only put our trust in the Lord, but to bring him our concerns, our cares, and find in him strength, hope, life, peace, meaning, and so much more. The Lord is faithful to his promises, and he's always there to meet any one of us who comes to him with an open heart, yielding ourselves to him. So good to be with you today. Thanks for joining in. The scripture verse that I want to share with you today was sent over to me by our associate chaplain, Mary Myrink. Mary works hard in our assisted living and skilled nursing areas, and uh, as well as assisting me with our Sunday services and special events that we do. I really appreciate her help. And just about once a week, she'll select the scripture verse and send it over. She's a a little camera shy, doesn't like being on the video, so I still do the video presentation, but I appreciate her help and her uh, thoughtfulness, the little write-ups that she sends over and the time she takes to pick out the verses. Today's verse comes from Exodus chapter 33. And just before I share it, let me set the stage here for just a moment. The book of Exodus begins with the story of Moses. We hear about his birth and how he grew up and how as an adult he fled uh, in for, for 40 years. When he was 40 years old, he fled to the wilderness of uh, Midian and uh, there um, had a family. And, and uh, when he was 80 years old, God spoke to him and sent him back to Pharaoh's household where he had grown up to see that the Israelites would be set free. They had been enslaved by the Egyptians for generations upon generations. And so Moses did that. And of course, you recall with me the many plagues that the Lord sent to uh, bring judgment on the Egyptians and, and help convince the Pharaoh to finally let them go. And of course, as they depart, they, we have this amazing story of them crossing the Red Sea on dry ground and those waters closing up all around Pharaoh's army. And there was a great deliverance of the people of God. They went on to worship at Mount Sinai. And uh, Moses went up on the mountain, and he was up there for 40 days. And God gave him the Ten Commandments. And as he came down, he discovered that the people had moved into a time of rebellion. They had gotten nervous while he was up there. And so they demanded that uh, Aaron's, I'm sorry, Moses' brother, Aaron, um, create an idol for them to worship. And so he had them turn in all kinds of jewelry, and he fashioned this great golden calf, and he says, this is the God who delivered you. And they were all there reveling and dancing around this this idol when Moses came down. And he was so upset, he smashed the tablets, he rebuked the people, he, he had that idol destroyed, and they had to start over again. He went back up onto the mountain. And finally it was settled. The law had been given, and Moses had delivered it to the people. And now God was ready to move them on to the next place. And he promised to ever go with them, that he would lead them. Um, His glorious presence would appear as a, a pillar of cloud by day and as a pillar of fire by night. And he promised Moses that he would be with him through thick and thin, that they that he would ever be by their side to lead them, to guide them, to protect them. For as long as it took. And so that's where we pick up with Exodus chapter 33. And I think it was with a grateful heart that Moses turned to the Lord and said this, and this is the verse that Mary selected for us today, Exodus 33 verses 18 and the first part of 19. The scripture says that Moses said to the Lord, Moses said, please show me your glory. And he said, the Lord, in return, he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you. And if we keep reading in the story, we'll discover how God took Moses and hid him in the cleft of the rock, the scripture says, covered him with his hand. The idea was nobody could see the presence of God in all his glory and goodness and and live like our bodies couldn't physically take that much radiating from him. And so the idea is that the Lord covered him 
and the Lord passed by him. And just as he was about to withdraw out of sight, he withdrew his hand, and Moses got a glimpse of the Lord in the fullness of his glory. And he was undone. It forever changed him. And Mary writes this. She says, have you ever had a moment that was so good, that so touched your heart that you just cried out, God, you are so good, or just God is good. You know, sometimes we go through such joyous moments. It might be the birth of a child. It might be the answer to a long-awaited prayer. It might be a sudden surprise blessing. And Mary, she writes here that when those things happen, it is a chance for us to give thanks to the Lord. Perhaps we have caught a glimpse of his goodness just to taste, just the afterglow of the incredible wonder and goodness of God. And so she points out that Moses asked to see the Lord's goodness. And what would happen if we offered him the same prayer? Lord, would you show us your goodness? Would you help us to see your goodness all around us, how you're at work, that we might ever realize how much he loves us, how amazing and wonderful he is, how good he is all the time. And having caught the glimpse of that, may our hearts forever be changed. May our faith forever be settled, knowing that the Lord loves us and that he promises to prevail in all his goodness. And as we turn to him, we can experience from him all of that goodness coming forth as he continues to protect, to save, to lead, to guide, to, to, to do all that we need him to do in order to come through this life with a sense of peace and fulfillment ever prepared for life in eternity as we embrace Christ as our Lord and Savior. Look all around you today. Let's look for the goodness of God. In fact, let's invite the Lord to help us see it because sometimes we get blind. We, we get blinded by the heartaches, the disappointments, the frustrations that, that come inevitably in this life. They come to everybody in some shape, some way, some form over and over and over again. For Moses, he had this incredible time of frustration. All the people had just rebelled despite the incredible deliverance that God had given them and rescuing them from the hand of Pharaoh and Egyptian slavery. Sometimes we're fickle. We make mistakes. But God wants to make himself known. He wants to reveal his goodness to each and every single one of us. Let's ask him to help us to see it, that we might respond to him with hearts of gratitude, ever changed by his goodness becoming evident all around us and in us. And with that thought, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we reach out to you today. We are thankful that you are with us. We are thankful that you are true to your promises. We are ever grateful, Lord, that your love is continual and constant. No matter who we are, no matter what we've done, you yet love us. For you made us, you designed us, you thought of us, you knew us even in our mother's womb. Lord, you saw all of our days before even one of them had begun. And you hold us precious. Help us to love you with all our heart, soul, and strength in return. Lord, I'm asking today that you would help us to see your glory, that you would help us to see your goodness, that our eyes would be open to see you at work in the world around us and in our very selves. And as we do, may our hearts be changed. May we come to understand and realize just how wonderful you are and how mighty you are. How great is your love for each and every single one of us. Change us. Renew us from the inside out, Lord. Strengthen our faith. Cause us to love you with all that we are as you make yourself known. You are good and you are good all the time. Give us eyes to see it, even in the midst of troubling moments or heartaches or disappointments or the things that come along in this life that, that cause us to worry or to be stressed. Help us to see beyond the moment, to see your hand ultimately at work. Lord, whether that be in a big explosive moments or in quiet still moments as you just speak your loving voice to our heart and renew us, Come and show us your glory. Cause your goodness to pass before us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the hope that we find in you. In Christ's name we pray.
let's keep our eyes peeled. Let's be ever alert and aware and looking for the goodness of God. Amen. Thanks, Mary. Appreciate you selecting that verse and sending your thoughts over for us today. Here at Friendship Village, we show these encouraging word videos three times a day. This video will air at 4.30 in the afternoon right here on channel 2493. It repeats at 8 o'clock at night and then once again 8 o'clock the following morning. We do that every day, Monday through Friday. And uh, you don't have to wait for those time periods if you don't want. You can join us online on YouTube. Simply go to youtube.com, then uh, backslash the at symbol FVC Chaplain. Type that into your computer. You'll land on our YouTube page where you'll not only find these encouraging word videos on the the recent video tab, but you could also click on the live tab and just uh, click on that and you'll see all the recordings from the, our live services as they happen, uh, whether it be Sunday morning or Wednesday night Bible study or our memorials or a special event, they're all accessible there. In fact, if you catch us at 1045 Central Time on a Sunday morning or 7 o'clock in the evening on a Wednesday Central Time, you can watch us in the moment as it happens. And then YouTube records those videos, holds and saves them for us so that you can go back and review them whenever you would like. If uh, you're watching online, do you know someone that could be encouraged today by today's video? Perhaps consider sending them the link. You can also click on the circle right here above to subscribe to these videos when they're brand new. Your YouTube feed, when you sign into YouTube, it'll let you know when we have new ones. Or you can click on the box below to go right to any of these in our past history. Trust in the goodness of God. He is ever faithful. Amen. We'll see you next time.